Right, boys, we've just looked at doubling. Now, there's something that's connected to doubling. It's the opposite of it. It's an inverse operation, just the same as addition and subtraction and multiplication and division, which is, as you get older and go through the school, you'll see that they, they're sort of connected in some way. Now, the opposite of doubling is halving. So just like I asked you with the doubling, can you give me an explanation? What does halving mean to you? Mason, spinning on that. What are we doing? Splitting them. Splitting them. Oh, very close. Good answer. Bailey, what does halving mean to you? Does it mean anything? Um, Nothing coming to mind? Say it again, sorry. One for you, one for you. Oh, right, okay. So you are splitting them, you're sharing them. Good effort. You're going along the right lines. Do you know how many that we are sharing them between when we are halving them? How many groups are we going to be sharing them into or splitting them into? How many groups when we share them, when we half them? Double. Oh, it's opposite to double. We're going to split them into two groups. You're dividing by two, so you're sharing by two, okay? So, if I give you a few blocks each, there we are, can you have your group of blocks? Count how many that you've got all together, first of all. How many? Oh, good counting. One to one matching makes sense. You've got six. And you, oh, dear me. Bailey's done it. How did you do that, Bailey? Oh, counted in my head. You counted in your head. And you split them up into how many groups? Threes. You put them into gr groups of three, but you shared them into two groups. When you divide by two, you're sharing by two, you're halving all means the same thing. And you split them into two groups. Are they equal on both sides? Yeah. Have you got the same amount in both groups? Yeah. You've got three on that side, you've got three on that side. Well done. One little tip. As the number gets bigger that you're going to have to share, that you're going to have to half, it might be an idea to do it systematically. Let me show you. Pop them into one pile in a minute. Okay. And say it like this. One for you one for you. So there's my two groups. You're, you're dividing by two, you're splitting it in half. One for you, one for you. One for you, one for you. Until they're all gone. Okay? Because sometimes as the number gets bigger and you want to half the bigger numbers, you might lose count of how many you've got on each side. So it's just a little tip there, okay? If I've got four blocks and I'm sharing them, I'm halving them, one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. How many blocks have I got now? Four. There are four all together. We started with two, four. Two. We've got two each. So have I got a smaller amount than what I started with? Yes. Yes, I have. So when we half, the number gets Small. smaller. Bailey, what is a half of six? Three. Three. Diane, I could hear your brain ticking away and working. What do you notice about that number three if you double it? What is double three? Six. Six. Ooh. And I just asked you, what is half of six? And you told me? Three. Three. So they're connected. You can do them the other way and get the same one. Mason, what is... A half of eight. Um, two. Oh, good try. Half of eight. Get eight blocks for me. Get eight blocks for me. Eight. Half of eight. What would I do with those blocks, Mason? Um, half them. You're going to half them. Split them into how many groups? Eight. Two groups. the way you're working systematically, one on each side. What is a half of eight? Four. Four. Are they equal on both sides? Have you got four there and four there? They are equal, so you've halved it. Well done, boy. What is double two? Um, four. Four. And what's half of four? Two. Well done. Can you see they're connected? 
What is double seven, baby? Fourteen. Fourteen. So what's half of fourteen? Seven. Well done. What is double ten, Lisa? Twenty. What's half of twenty? Ten. Can you see? You can use what you know. If you know that double a number gives you an answer, you can also halve it as well. Good effort, boys. That was a tricky one. Well done. Fantastic.